from Granville Boys High School. Give them a round of applause. Please. for driving your boys to school, getting them ready for camps, making sure they're in the uniform, getting them to complete homework, getting them out of bed on time, teaching them good manners, respect, the value of hard work, and the ability to get on with different people from different religions, different cultures, different socioeconomic backgrounds, because this is what the world is like. And parents, in front of me today, is a remarkable group of Year 12 students, and you deserve credit for this. Let's give all of our parents a round of applause. <laughs> to the Year 12 teachers, and all of the teachers at Granville Boys High School have worked with these boys, for knowing them, for valuing them, and caring for each and every one of these students. Let's give this year's Year 12 teachers a round of applause as well, please. To the Year Advisor, Kevin O'Halloran, and Miss Donnelly before you, thank you for the care that you've given to these boys. To the Year 12 students themselves, what an outstanding group they are. Tremendous role models, good humoured, respectful and well liked across the school by students, parents and staff. They are young men of integrity. Give them a round of applause. When they started at our school, what we wanted for these students is what parents wanted. We wanted them to be able to come into Granville Boy, Boys High School and first and be safe. And secondly, to make friends and to have some great experiences and most importantly to learn. These boys have done all that and more. Remember some of the things that they've been able to achieve in their time at Granville Boys and I want the year 12 to sit there and think about which of these ones I was involved with. The Team Ranch Camps in Year 8 and Year 9. The camping in tents at the Basin Campground on Pitt Water. During a torrential storm, our boys who have represented the school in cross country. Remember the Ways to Wellness Surfing Program. The representatives of our school in our tremendous sporting events. Our swimming teams, our basketball teams, our cricket teams, our AFL teams. And there are some Bashahooli Cup women sitting here today, though, ladies. Our rugby league boys, our volleyball and our Oztag boys. We have our Arabic drummers in this year 12 group and boys from the concert band. We have Islander dancers who have represented our school in this group. We are boys involved in the Korean cultural exchange program connecting with students from Korea. We have the Nelson Mandela Youth Leadership Summit that our boys went to. The peer mediation program they are involved with. The mentoring program with year 10 and year 7 students. The Sydney University History Program, the Macquarie University Robotics Program, the UTS at Uni Program, the Max Potential, the Aspire Program, the fundraising that our boys have completed, the White Ribbon Fundraising, the Daffodil Day, the Lions Youth of the Year programs, and who will forget our hospitality students working tirelessly with Mr. Bayer and all those supporters for our e celebrations and, and our other fundraising dinners of our school. Please give our hospitality boys a round of applause. Let's not forget, we still have a cow out the front here, our Archer Ball prize competition, our debating students, our maths and ICAS competitions, our robotics boys involved in the FLL, the VEX, and the FRC robotics competitions. The escape room we went to. Remember the various fishing trips we went on to Bundina, to Clifton Gardens, to Gunnamana Bay, and the Basin Campground. Our boys in Year 12 have been tremendous ambassadors at our school to many occasions. Our 
SRC boys, the leaders of our school, boys involved in our barbershop program, boys involved in Saturday tutoring, the coming every Saturday. Our mentors to primary school students when they come into our school. Our robotics mentors to base our girls high school students. Dining with the Premier of New South Wales at our annual Eid celebration. Meeting the Minister of Education and the Secretary for Education, showing him around the school and getting him his head cut over in the barbershop. The, the Memorial Morning Tees, meeting the Governor of New South Wales just a month ago. Lunch with the Supreme Court judge and dining with the Premier of New South Wales. Remember this. Every one of these programs I'm talking about now were organised by the teachers and our amazing office staff, prepared to take on these roles, to give up their own time, to work harder, longer, to give your son the best education he can get. And I'll ask these year 12 boys here, how many times you've been out on these events and it was armoured and it was Kenya driving you home and it was family in the front office organising it, along with all your teachers prepared to do this. Boys, you've had a tremendous time at Granville Boys High School. We've given you the best education we can give you. And what about our robotics team? Headed over to Arkansas, USA, to compete in the FLL robotics competition. After winning the Australian Championship, and then, out of 80 teams, coming 11th, from all teams around the world. Zayn Ahmed, Adekhan Ostert, Abhinav Talahani, Talasani and Henry Groom represented our school with pride. Give them a round of applause. <laughs> I mentioned before, we had the Governor of New South Wales who ran the school and said, can I come out and see what's happening at Granville Boys High School? She heard read what's happening in the social media and she wanted to come out here. And she got here about 10 minutes early. And we weren't ready. Like we were ready at 10.30. But I had Riyad with me, the school captain. And I said, Riyad, do your best, mate. Go over and talk to him. Okay? And let me tell you what she said to me afterwards. She said, it wouldn't have been hard to pick Riyad as the school captain what an impressive young man, she said. The Governor of New South Wales. And how good has his team been? Vice Captain Henry Roo. Senior Prefect Zayn Ahmed and Abhinav Talasani. And the Prefects Zach Asari, Nasser Rafahi, Tanin Zaker, Mohammed Sayor, Mohammed Ibrahim, Ashman Tripathi, Salahadin Malik, Adam Nabusi. Adekar Ozturk and Ibrahim Tabrisi. These boys have made an outstanding contribution in Granville Boys High School. Please give Brian and the Prefects a round of applause. In fact, the truth is this, boys. This group of Year 12s have led by example. And people in the community see this. And they see the way they behave. And they see they're wearing the grand blue uniform. And they see their good manners and their sense of fun and their respectful behaviour. And they see what fine men they are. And you know what they think? They think maybe, maybe this school is the school I should be sending my son to. And it is no wonder at the moment with such outstanding role models in year 12 that we have record enrolments coming into Granville Boys High School. Give the year 12 a round of applause. Please. And I'll let you know this gentlemen. Some years I'm sadder than others when to see our year 12 go and this is definitely one of those years. But the time has come. We're going to miss the class of 2023. Stay close. Come back and see us. There's a big world out there and it's waiting for you. Don't be afraid. There's nothing that can scare you because you are and always will be a 
brave little boy. Go ahead and get him, boys. Today, our guest speaker is Professor Talal Ghassani, OAM. Professor Yassin Professor attended Grandma Boys High School and was elected as a school captain in 1990. He had big dreams and is now a successful Australian entrepreneur and a business executive. He holds a Master of Laws and a Master of Business Administration, which was focused on international business strategy. In November 2012, Professor Yassin was also appointed as the Vice Chancellor's Professorial Fellow within Corbett School of Public Policy at Australia National University. And in 2014, was appointed a Jump Professor within the School of Business at Western Sydney University. On Australia Day 2010, he was awarded a Medal of Order of Australia, OAM, for his service to business and to the community through a range of education, health, and multicultural organizations. It is with great pleasure that I now ask Professor Talal Yassin, OAM, to give his address. Well, good morning, everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, all the people of this beautiful school. Salam, Nihao, Marhaba, Ding Chao, Boy Hu, Namaste, Hola, Privyet, Konnichiwa, Chao, Hello. I think I said that in everybody's language. Did I miss any? I'd like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land, their elders, past, present and emerging. And I'd like to acknowledge the very special people in the audience here today. First of all, of course, the principal, Mr Dixon, the great principal of Granville Boys High School, really putting it on the map. I'd like to acknowledge my mother, and my family, Fatma Yassin, my brother Bilal and Hilal, and my daughter Sabrina. And I'd like to acknowledge my other second mother, I like to call it, Professor Dayurabi, the former Vice Chancellor of Macquarie University, that means the boss, who's here with me and with us today. I guess um, I want to acknowledge everybody and acknowledge the situation today for what it is a passing of another year of the Great Granville Boys High School. And I stand here in Granville Boys uniform with a sense of pride that I stand before you as my peers, the teachers and students of Granville Boys High School, to get to this very important event about the importance of making the most of your education. Because only a very, very short time ago, 33 years to be precise, in 1990, I stood up here as Korea, school captain. My name is up on that board. Look up 1990, says Talal Yassin. It was but a big girl. Now I also see, looking in the audience, some of the elders. I can see Mr. Talal there and others. And the way we used to acknowledge everybody and the way we used to talk was, remember the old age of Yeah, who knows the old age of No? Nobody knows what that is. Well, what about for the what about for the old people? Yeah, well, there should be a uh, oh. No, nobody understands. Today we sing the Grandpa Boys song, which is an amazing achievement because we've moved on from folklore to professionalism and excellence, and that is the start of what I'm about to say. Now, boys, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to come with me for about ten minutes, and I want you. To to focus. Because today, I may have the fancy title, I may look fancy, I've got the verbal voice. And I may use some fancy words, but the message is really simple. I want you to focus with me for 10 minutes. First of all, I want to congratulate the 
all those who are receiving an award and all those who are graduating today for the class of 2023. A round of applause and congratulations. It was only like yesterday that I was leaving this school and a man full of hopes, full of dreams, full of ideas, supported by Granville Boys. But my journey started in 1990. I come back after a full tilt with some home truths, some messages about the future. I hope to allay some fears, quieten down some fears, and give you a bit of perspective, especially for the year 12 boys, as they go through the next stage of their life. As I mentioned earlier, I came to this school from 1984, yes, last century, to 1990. At the time, Grandma Boy's reputation was for being rough, tough, and according to myth, the primary law, the most important law, was the law of the jungle. This could not be further from the truth. Today, as I sit in this auditorium, a memory, memory flood back to me as to what this school gave me. What this school gave in terms of the privileges, the warmth, the training and the support. I pay tribute today to my English teacher, Miss Pinson, to my math teacher, Miss Patton, to my arts teacher, Miss Guzman, and to my music teacher, Mr. Dixon. I love these people. And you will not realize how much you love them until you leave and decide what they gave to you. I'll start with Mr. Dixon. He denies it. But in 1986, he taught me the recorder. Very badly, you might say. But he's been here since then supporting and loving the school and what it brings out. Miss Pinson taught me that. I'm still horrible at it, but she supported me for a full three years, day in and day out, teaching me algebra. Miss Patton taught me the love of English and the way to speak and the way to present. And Miss Doyle, we're talking 35 years ago, taught me how to speak on this stage. Literally, every day, at year 11 and year 12, as vice captain and then captain, she'd stand me up on that podium outside which you have, where you have assemblies and stop to laugh, raise your voice, lift your chest, say that properly. That sounds like Arabic English to laugh. I love that teacher. And you will love your teachers even more than you think so today. You may not think it now, but indeed the Bramble Boys motto, prepare for the, life, for the fight of a life, and indeed Bramble Boys prepared me, as Mr. Dixon and his team is preparing you. Let me add another one for you boys. Are you listening? Go on, actually, show me. You're very focused. He who has a why to live for can bear almost any how. In English, it means if you have a reason for doing something, you and you're committed to it, you can do almost anything. He who has a why can do can bear almost any how. For six years at Granville Boy, I learned skills which I will value for many years to come. I did it, and I'm sure you would appreciate, for because I have a genuine commitment to serving others, and this school taught me, and the team taught me solidarity and camaraderie between and amongst us. It taught me about friendship and about real aims and objectives. And it also taught me to truly be authentic. Now at this school, at this school, there is true authenticity. So in simple English, not a lot of crap gets said, it's cut away. You will find in the real world, outside the school, you will have to listen to a lot of things that simply aren't true. There's, there's almost films being played in the background. Ground War Boys teaches you to see through that because you're in a real school doing real things. Let me tell you about three things about this school. In this very podium, on this very hall, where it talks about the circus, so the video that's going to play after this, which I will refer to. 
One, remember something called the circus? This school gave me the, the circus. The circus does not mean what you think it means. You will realize that the video. But number one, in that corner over there, in that back corner, I was in a competition with my then cousin to do lap push-up. You know the lap I wanted to be so badly to be the champion of this school that I did 28 pull-ups. You know, did you body one? 28. I did it so, I wanted it so badly that I, I basically stretched both my lats and I walked around like this for weeks. Because I pulled all my lats as one of my punishments. But I also learned to play basketball. I also learned to deal with conflict. As a captain, I learned that violence couldn't get you anywhere. The threat of violence is getting get respect up and authenticity. And today, as, and last week, as Mr. Dixon walking around for the barber at the back and I played handball at the front and the kitchen on that side, this school has built up to your reputation in building future leaders. Now, last thing. Look around you. Look at the people who are here, look at your friends, your teachers, those who support you, the imams. These are the most important people to you. These people will define your life and they'll define your view and they're doing a great job. Whether you go to university and get all the fancy titles and that's what you want to be, good for you. But I did it, you can. My name is Salah Yassin. I was here in 1984 to 1990. I lived in Guildford and Parramatta. I'm very proud of my background and everything I learned here, including going to the Tablet of Sydney University, Macquarie University, was built from the skills I learned here. Everything else is a bonus. For those who do not want to go to university and do not want the fancy title of be a doctor or a lawyer, life is equally as good. This was to you, whether it's hairdressing, whether it's being a drummer, whether it's being a plumber, everything. Everything has a why. If you have a why, be good at it. And so with that going to my story, I just want to leave you with one message. And that is, I live by my why. Remember the saying, if you have a why, you can almost withstand any what. And my why, what I want to do in my life, clearly, is to serve others with others. So the definition of happiness under any religion, under any philosophy, is to be of service and help others. I'll add a little bit to say with others. I want to help others with others. I'm talking today, hopefully to impart a little bit of knowledge with Mr. Dixon, with the Imam, with others in the class, because that is what true happiness is. And the second thing I'd say, always bear in mind, as that your own resolution to be is more important than any other one thing. Said Abraham Lincoln, the first president of the United States of America. What that means is your motivation, your willingness to do whatever it takes to get whatever you want done is the most important thing that someone can have. So no matter your skill set or your background, it's your motivation. And I'd like to finish off because I don't want it to be too boring. It's been boring enough, I guess. Is to congratulate everybody graduated today to thank the school leadership and all the staff for bringing up and bringing the school to where it is today. I'm so proud of Granville Boys and everything it's achieved. And I'll remind you of one thing, or two things. One, figure out your why. What is your purpose? Two, is to make your bed and always look forward to the circus. Don't be afraid of it. You'll see what that means. Always make your bed and look forward to the circus. Doctors, parents, and guests, welcome to the 2023 Year 12 graduation for Granville Boys High School. I'm honored to be here to speak at this wonderful occasion. Today, on the 21st of September, is a day of joy and happiness for our school and our community. We are all here to celebrate and recognize the completion of Year 12 at Granville Boys High School. Graduation is not the end. It's the beginning of your journey. Life will throw obstacles, 
and hurt his athletes. However, looking at the mature, responsible young man sitting in front of me right now, I have no doubt that you will handle any situation with ease, resilience and perseverance. Honestly, it has been a privilege and honour to be your advisor, your teacher and your mentor and know that you always have an older brother in me. You, are, you boys are family and will always be that. To the parents and family, your support and positive reinforcement is the key to the success of these young men. A family that supports one another is a family of strength and hope. To you, the U12 boys of 2023, whatever path you go down, whatever journey you take, just be the best at what you do. You have what it takes to become the best that you can be. Don't ever doubt yourself. Success doesn't come knocking on your door. You must work hard and chase after it. And I have no doubt that you boys will do exactly that. Finally, as the greatest boxer of all time, Muhammad Ali, once said, don't count the days, you make the days count. Go out there, boys, give it all you got, and let the world know who you are and what you made of. Thank you. begin our formal part of the assembly. Please keep your applause for the year 12 to the end of the awards. First place, bi first place biology, first place PDHPE, first place earth and environmental science, first place math extension, one, most improved English advanced, um, say I'm honoured. Most improved legal studies, Lukman Al Fayyad. <laughs> 
completion of high school certificate course, we are now the Harvey. Most improved hospitality, Carla Almadini. Most improved. Most improved studies in religion, Ibrahim Al Halabi. First place photography, most improved construction, G. Hayden Lou. Completion of high school certificate course, Hermione Baba. Completion of high school certificate course, Harry Bailey.
application of part of the certificate course are in Reza Prasen. Completion of high school certificate course, Lay South Hedge. Completion of high school certificate course, Ibrahim Hajj.
First Place Hospitality, Most Improved PDHPE, and Suzanne Mohammed Afan. Completion of High School Certificate Course, Adam Nabulsi. Mathematics Standard 2, First Place Business Studies, Most Improved Earth and Environmental Studies, Ijaz Mathieu. Completion of Christ for Certificate Course, Valley a week. High School Certificate course and a boss pen. First place legal studies, first place in STEM, first place in space, most improved in session two, first place in session two, at a part of two. Completion of high school certificate, Muhammad Rafai. First place chemistry, Shara Frazine. Completion of high 
for the prize for the certificate course on the Tava.
being a school captain is very similar. He is role model for our students, school and community. As a school captain, you are loved and respected by all members of the school community because they are outstanding see history of performance and contribution. It is always hard to say goodbye. The Alboy School Captain, Riyad Alevi, has left a legacy for everyone to remember his dream as a school leader. The reform of this tradition will continue. But right now, call yeah, upon Riyad Alevi, the Alboy School Captain, to be his captain's chair of fish. Words 
you not express how much it has given to us over the last couple of years. The experiences and opportunities it has given to all of us are priceless. I can't imagine having anyone else as our advisor. One of the greatest men I've ever come across. A genuine, humble, caring, and charismatic leader. And I hope whichever you could give to them, having him as their year advisor doesn't take it too much for granted. Having you not only as a mentor, the advisor and teacher over the last couple of years has truly been a blessing, and words really cannot express the gratefulness I have towards you. So can we all please have a round of applause for the man who's still here?
Do not follow where the path may lead. Go instead where there is no path and leave the trail. Forge your own paths. Make your own mark on the world. And never underestimate the power of your own potential. While today marks the end of one chapter, it is also the beginning of an exciting new one. Your journey may take you in various directions, but always remember the values and lessons that you've learned. From. Carry with you the spirit of determination, curiosity, and resilience that has defined your time with us. As you leave these hallowed walls, you take a piece of our heart with you. We have watched you grow and transform. We have every confidence that you will make us proud in all your future endeavors. To the year 12s, on behalf of Baron Boy students, we say this. Farewell, but not goodbye. You will always be a part of our school family, and we eagerly await the news of your achievements and successes. Congratulations on reaching this significant milestone, and may your future be as bright as the potential we see in each of you. Thank you, and farewell. But now come to the last part of this ceremony. I would like to wish you as well as all your folks good luck with their coming HSD. Before the final roll, let's watch a collection of small video clips and photos to commemorate the fun times that Adam Shaker has put together for your folks in the military.
Lazy. 